All right, everyone, welcome back to this amazing, I want to say amazing year because we have an amazing year ahead of us. It's a clean slate to start new, set new goals, continue on working on the goals we did not achieve last year. And let's get into the video because we have some amazing things that we want to discuss about today. And those are five web design trends that I think, I think this is my prediction on an analysis that I made based on what I've seen happening in the last year and the year previous. And we will see next year this time if these predictions have actually taken place. So let's get into the video. All right, let's make some educated guesses about potential web design trends for 2023 based on current developments and trends in the field. So here are a few possibilities. Okay, let's start with AI because AI has taken over the world in 2022, especially the last two months of 2022 in the form of chat, JPD, Dali, and so, so much more. And I think this is a trend and probably it's going to become the norm, but this year we're going to see the rise of AI in everything we do online from copywriting to generating imagery for websites and even building websites at some point, because as you can see in this video that I have created here, I used JetGPT to create a custom cursor. So AI is going to be super, super big in 2023. There are some ways that AI will actually really, really, really help us in building websites and how we interact with websites as users. But I think this will be past 2023, but it's worth mentioning because I find it really interesting and what I'm talking about is AI powered personalization for, for example AI could be used to analyze user data and preferences and to adjust the design and content of a website accordingly. For example, a website could use AI to recommend products or content to individual user based on their past uh, behaviors or to customize the layout uh, and color scheme of a website to match the user's preferences, which is pretty interesting if you stay a little bit to think. And this will actually change the tasks we will have as web designers and developers when it comes to developing websites. We will have to have a higher grade of thinking about web design and all these tasks, tasks that are right now super important, but will not be because they will be delegated to the AI, will be delegated to the AI. What I wanted to say is that we will need to add our human touch to the web design that the AI is basically helping us to design. I hope that makes sense. And don't worry, the AI will not steal our jobs, not anytime soon because they still need us. We are the humans and we are selling to humans. We're working with humans. The AI does not have empathy. The AI does not know how to relate to a human. Anyway, rent over. But I know that this is something that a lot of web designers and not only people in general <laughs> worry about AI. So don't be worried. Be prepared instead and be open to all the possibilities that are available to you. All right, number two is continued rise of mobile first and responsive design. This will never go away because more and more people are using their mobile devices to surf the web, to shop online, to anything online. And we have to be more prepared than ever to design mobile first. To be honest, that's not my preference. I like to design desktop first and then gradually remove elements of the page to make sure that they are nice and tidy on mobile devices and I know that that's not necessarily the best practice. I think uh, this opinion is basically subjective. Everybody uh, as web designer does what they feel like it's best. But I think that websites that are built for mobile devices will become more interesting, more, in more interactive and will basically mirror the desktop versions. So there will be more and more focus on responsive design and mobile first. And let me know in the comments below if you design websites for mobile first and then desktop. And let me know why. Number three, 
greater emphasis on user experience and accessibility. Good UX is about creating websites that are easy to use, aesthetically pleasing and helpful to users, obviously. Websites have become more and more complex in terms of what we offer to the users and, and sometimes we overlook UX over UI. But I think we will see a greater focus on UX in this new year. And to be honest, I want to see more of that because sometimes I am on websites that, oh my God, I don't even know where I am. What is it about? Where is the search bar? How many times I have been on a website and I was trying to find the search bar and I could not find the search bar or a button to change the language, which is extremely important in my opinion, if you want to reach as many users as possible. Number four. One of my favorite things is interactive and immersive design elements. Uh, web designers may incorporate more interactive and immersive elements into their designs to enhance the user's experience. This could include 3D models, VR experiences, AR experiences, which can make websites more engaging and more interactive. Some specific examples of interactive and immersive design elements include 3D models, 3D models, can be used to create realistic and engaging representation of objects such as products or environments, which are my favorites. And if you watch this video here, you will see that I built a little 3D model in Blind, which I think is very mesmerizing, but I think this is just the start of what we can do. For example, a website for a furniture store could use 3D models to allow users to view and interact with different pieces of furniture from different angles or virtual reality experiences can be used to create immersive and interactive environments that users can explore and interact with. One example of such website could use VR to allow users to take a virtual tour of locations or events. And augmented reality experiences involve overlaying digital content onto real world using a device such as a smartphone or tablet. Now, this can be used to create interactive and engaging experiences for users. For example, a website could use AR to allow users to virtually try on clothes or see how furniture would look in their home. I mean, we're living exciting times and I cannot wait to be able to build such websites for clients and for users. And on to the next and last trend for this year in web design is flat design. And to be honest, I'm not necessarily a fan of flat design. I don't find it appealing necessarily, but if it is combined with AR, VR, or something interesting like cool typography might change my mind. <laughs> So if you don't know what flat design is, flat design is a trend that emphasizes simplicity and minimalism with a focus on clean lines, flat colors, and simple graphics. And this trend has been popular in the recent years and it may continue to evolve in 2023 with an added emphasis on uh, functionality and usability. Yeah, so it seems like the principles of minimalism and simplicity are likely to remain important in web design. If you're new to the channel, I have added playlists here and here, just in case you want to get to know me better, in a sense, and that's my dog there. <laughs> and maybe you would like to learn more about working with Elementor and what you can do with Elementor. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.